So if you're designing your own wardrobe, there isn't really one rule that applies to all because it's so dependent on what um, you already own in your wardrobe. Are you a dress person? Are you a jumper person? Um, so the first thing that you need to do is really have a good think about what items are currently in your wardrobe. And then you have to go as far as like, counting your jumpers, counting your dresses, and then thinking where you want to place those in your upcoming wardrobe. Um, so I'll take you through what I, what my thinking was. I'm really a dresses person, so I needed a lot of hanging space. You would measure up your longest, say, short dress, and then design a section that will hold all of your dresses and the longest one. If, for instance, you have a longer dress, you would have it living in your long dresses section. And that applies also to, say, your skirts. You would count all your skirts, make sure that you've got enough width space to hang them all. You measure your longest short skirt and obviously if you have a longer one it will live in your long um, hanging section. Same applies to trousers. Make sure and do not forget that you measure this length of your hangers. So you kind of have to decide which hangers you're going to go for before you decide on the space um, you're going to place them for because this takes up space as well. So that applies to dresses as well. Another thing to think about is what are the items that you're wearing all the time? You probably don't want to have them tucked away somewhere. You want to have them at eye level and really easily um, reachable. So in, in my case, I wear a lot of gray sweaters. I wear a lot of jumpers and t-shirts and jeans. These, as you can see, are all at my eye level and they're folded on an open shelf where I can see them and quickly um, grab them. With your drawers, have a think about your, the items that will take up more space so for instance um, if you are storing away um, jumpers you'll need a little bit more width but for instance for things like your lingerie or your socks you probably don't need a very deep drawer and then for things like accessories um, again you need to think are you the sort of person that you know wears lots of bags and likes to change them every day then you probably want to have them on an open space um, where you can grab and go if you are a person that actually just likes to wear one bag um, you want to have them in a closed space so um, that's something to bear in mind. Really important also is to think about seasonality so depending on where you live um, in which side of the globe you might need more um, storage space in the winter for say things like jumpers. In the UK I need a lot of shelf space for you know thick jumpers um, and jackets and coats if you're living somewhere where it's a little bit warmer, you probably need more hanging spaces for dresses and skirts and like, you know, lightweight things. Another thing to think about is, um, and this is a little bit of a tip, is to give up your skirting board in a walk-in wardrobe and replace it with very thin um, drawers for your shoes. This is a, such a great tip for saving space because imagine if you were to keep these in boxes or even on a shelf, how much space these would take. Whereas in a drawer, you can stack them sideways or front like this and you can can have like you know 20 pairs of shoes in one go um, so these are some of my tips but obviously remember that there is not one rule that applies to all so um, as long as you measure everything and make sure you count everything you have in your wardrobe and make space for it in the next space you'll be all right <laughs>